today we will discuss one of the important problem of CSI net syllabus that is peptide digestion suppose you your lab do not have any sequencer or peptide sequencer you have given a long polypeptide chain and you have to sequence the each and the, every sequence of the polypeptide chain you have to predict so then we can go for the peptide digestion method by treating the long polypeptide chain by you by the use of some protease enzymes and then you can get the uh, sequencing arrange the sequencing data and then match the data and and uh, find out the sequence of the polypeptide chain now in that way we use the peptide digestion method so here now now first is the you have to know um, that which enzyme cutting site is where because here this is the important for peptide digestion so cutting site so enzyme cutting site so first look at the cutting sites of the enzyme so cutting sites of the enzyme so first is uh, CNBR reagent first is the reagent and their cleavage reagent and cleavage site cleavage site so reagent actually cnbr reagent reagent actually cnbr cnbr cut at methionine c terminal cnbr cut at methionine cleavage site is methionine methionine c terminal m c terminal cnbr cut at methionine c terminal iodoso benzoid iodoso benzoid iodoso benzoid Iodosobenzoate cut at tryptophan and tryptophan, tryptophan C terminal. Iodosobenzoate cut tryptophan tryptophan C terminal. Tryptophan is single letter code that is W C terminal. Hydroxyl amine, hydroxyl amine. Hydroxyl amine asparagine bond between hydroxyl amine cut bond between asparagine and glycine cut between asparagine bond between asparagine is denoted in and glycine glycine is denoted, denoted as G so cut between N and G bond right Now, next is trypsin. Trypsin cut, trypsin cut lysine and arginine, lysine and arginine, lysine and arginine C terminal. Trypsin cut lysine and arginine C terminal. Chymotrypsin, chymotrypsin. Chymotrypsin cut at phenylalanine, phenylalanine, lysine, sorry, phenylalanine, leucine, tryptophan, tyrosine, most of the aromatic amino acid, C terminal. You must have to know the single letter code of the amino acid. This is a single letter code phenylalanine, leucine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. Now carboxy peptide is A. Carboxy peptide is A. Carboxy peptide is A. Cut any C terminal amino acid. Carboxy peptide is cut any C terminal amino acid sequence. Any C terminal amino acid. Pepsin cut. Pepsin cut inside of now another is that inside of aromatic amino acid inside of aromatic 
amino acid except now except proline arginine and lysine proline arginine and lysine now if it is a uh, uh, proline is there it will not cut if you have to remember that anywhere proline is present in the in between in the it will not cut right so elastage elastage cut alanine glycine serine c terminal now staphylococcus protease staphylococcus staphylococcus coccal protease protease cut aspartic acid and glutamic acid c terminal right from that above we will see that problem how the problem can be solved now you can see that the triptych digested heptapeptide builds from three lysine one tyrosine and one phenylalanine yield tri and tetrapeptide which one of the following is the correct sequence now of the heptapeptide now you can see um, from the option so option how we'll do that we know that trypsin and trypsin cut lysine and arginine here the here the trypsin cut lysine and arginine c terminal trypsin cut lysine and arginine c terminal now we can see that lysine this is a lysine lysine k so lysine and arginine a for lysine and arginine c terminal lysine and arginine c terminal right so here lysine is k and arginine is r so lysine here it's give tripeptide if you treat with trypsin say tripeptide and a tetrapeptide so c terminal so it generate tripeptide and a tetrapeptide fragment so option c is the correct answer option c is the correct answer for this question now next question we'll see now next question is that Now you have digested, you have you have to determine the amino acid sequence of a peptide. You perform the following step using the enzyme cleavage of your peptide. Now step one, treatment with trypsin yields the fragment of the following sequence. Now from that, if you give that this type of sequence, now what would you have to do for answering the question? So you have to arrange that common area. So A G T K, just write the common A G T K. Now T a G T K Y right A G T K Y now another is the Y is here so Y L D R so it your sequence will be A G T K A G T K Y L D R A G T K Y L D R and W G A right these are the way of finding the peptide sequence right so in, in in that case you have to just arrange whatever the given the data just arrange in proper way and from always from n terminal to c ter, uh, n terminal to c terminal right now next question the number of fragments the number of fragments generated when the peptide it is subjected to complete digestion with trypsins R. Now, if you digest it with a trypsin, now we know that trypsin cut at the lysine and arginine C terminal, right? Trypsin cut lysine, specifically bond between the lysine and arginine C terminal, right? So, trypsin cut peptide bond specifically at the carboxylic end of the basic amino acid lysine and arginine, right? And now, here is the you have to remember that proline is present there if proline is present it will not cut right so if there is an acidic amino acid like aspartic acid or glutamic acid in the direct neighborhood to the cutting site the rate of hydrolysis is diminished right a proline c terminal to the cutting site inhibit the hydrolysis of the polypeptide completely now convention is that always you have to write the n to c terminal so look at that first or first one now lysine and arginine lysine and arginine c terminal now here find out the lysine these are the lysine k so it will cut here first one trypsin so this sequence you will get lysine and arginine lysine now from arginine arginine is r 
now here here also that lysine is there okay this lysine is inhibited because of presence of nearby proline proline is there that's why it's a inhibit it will not cut now now here you can see arginine arginine r so arginine is here it will cut here so fm fm l p d t w r right now next one you can see that here arginine r is there but nearby proline is there so proline actually inhibiting so you will get subjected to complete digestion with trypsin then will the fragments will be three fragments will be there so proline residues here is the proline is there so proline inhibit the uh, uh, the digestion process right so you have to remember that proline proline is inhibiting that step right lysine and arginine c terminal trypsin cut lysine and arginine c terminal now see that another problem so in order to determine the primary structure of the of an octapeptide amino acid composition was determined by acid hydrolysis the intact oligopeptide was treated with carboxypeptide as b chymotrypsin c trypsin d and cnbr e the peptide were separated in each case and acid hydrolysis was carried out for b to e following the results were uh, uh, following the results were obtained the bracket in the following mixture now here you have to first of all you have to know the carboxypeptide is now carboxypeptide is, is the cut at any c terminal amino acid now any c terminal amino acid you will get carboxypeptide now you got the uh, these two in your sequence it's have a two alanine two alanine two serine is there and one arginine is there one lysine is there one methionine is there one phenylalanine is there Right. These are total 8 uh, amino acids is there, octapeptide. Now, the, which one of the following is the correct sequence? Now, you have to arrange it. Now, you can look at the option also or you can go from option by option also. And first of all, look at the which of the uh, treated with carboxypeptide is B. Carboxypeptide is actually cut any C terminal amino acid. Now, look at the chymotrypsin. Chymotrypsin cut at the uh, at aromatic amino acid aromatic amino acid if you cut the chymotrypsin like if it is have a phenylalanine phenylalanine c terminal chymotrypsin cut phenylalanine c terminal phenylalanine here chymotrypsin so chymotrypsin treatment you will get alanine arginine lysine alanine arginine chymotrypsin option b uh, b is treated with carboxypeptide the determined oh, so first one is acid hydrolysis so second one is the by treatment with carboxypeptides b is the carboxypeptides alanine arginine methionine and two serine and alanine right carboxypeptides b Achha, carboxypeptides b cut at the alanine side carboxypeptides b Carboxypeptide is B. So chymotrypsin, chymotrypsin cut, aromatic side chain, chymotrypsin cut, aromatic side chain. Now look at that phenylalanine. If you cut chymotrypsin, so aromatic phenylalanine, serine, and alanine, it will get alanine, alanine, arginine, serine, and phenylalanine. Now lysine methionine serine and alanine lysine methionine serine and alanine right it's matching for option three for chymotrypsin now look at that cnbr cnbr cuts in methionine c terminal if you cut methionine is here methionine c terminal cut by cnbr so d is the cut by methionine cnbr is the cnbr is the e so and d is the for trypsin so CNBR you will get so option 3 is the correct answer right so C in CNBR methionine alanine arginine lysine methionine phenylalanine serine alanine arginine serine phenylalanine lysine methionine right and alanine and serine these are for methionine this also matching now E is the E E also E is here so now D is trypsin trypsin cut lysine and arginine lysine and arginine here one of one 